Hey guys, it's Fallon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am versing a new white belt at my gym. This is actually the first time I met him and rolled with him. He is probably about 165, maybe 5'9". I forgot to ask him after I was done rolling with him, but that's just my best guess. He did mention to me that he was a wrestler in his past, so I joked around and said that I wouldn't stand up with him because I'm really not that good at takedowns. So when I go against a wrestler, you can definitely see the difference between a BJJ player and a wrestler. <laughs> but I always have fun standing up with wrestlers, so I was just kidding. I would definitely stand up with him. Okay, so let's get into it. So I could actually tell that he was a wrestler just by going with him because you can see that his mentality here is just to apply pressure forward. It's really hard to go with a white belt who was a wrestler previously because they're really hard to do anything to because they're very gritty and just move forward. And I can't really do anything with my guard because he's not getting off balance or anything because look, he's literally just going straight forward, head down, posture down. And you'd think it'd be easier to sweep someone when their posture is down like that, but it's actually very difficult. So right now I'm really just trying to focus on getting one of his arms across my body. That way I can just get his balance off a little bit so I can actually actually move him. So I'm keep raising my guard up, up, up. He goes to stand up. And my initial goal was going to be to do the dummy sweep where you grab both ankles and just kind of pop your hips up where they fall back. But he ended up lifting me in the air. So I was kind of stuck at that point and I had to commit to staying with closed guard in the air. So you can't really see it that well, but I am attacking his left arm, uh, trying to get a Kimura grip or anything like that, just to make him concerned to get back to the floor because I can only hold my guard in the air for so long. So I always get kind of nervous. So see, he kind of broke it there, but we ended up back on the floor anyway and I had a Kimura grip. So I felt a little bit more secure in my position because as you see, I'm not straight on with him anymore. I'm kind of at a 45 degree angle instead which is a lot better for me in guard because then I can kind of climb and take the back. Uh, we went out of frame there so I just kind of fast forwarded a little bit nothing happened. He's still pushing forward and I'm just trying to off balance or get a submission in some way and I changed my game plan and I started doing spider guard just to stretch him out a little bit more which works because I ended up getting a triangle but once again he is so adamant at applying pressure forward that I can't even really walk my shoulders back because there's just so much pressure on my body right now so I'm just trying to readjust my triangle to get it extra tight so grabbing the shin keep readjusting holding the head and pushing my hips up for maximum amount of pressure on that choke but I definitely need to walk my shoulders out but like I said with that type of pressure it's kind of hard to do that sometimes so I'm just going to keep being persistent in it really try to cross that arm across his whole body so I am getting that blood choke where his arm is cutting off the blood circulation on one side while my leg is cutting off his blood circulation on the other side, which I achieved. I ended up getting the top in the triangle, but for the first time rolling with me, he did an excellent job at defending. That took me a very long time to get a submission because he is so good at applying pressure forward and not giving up any silly submissions that usually white belts give up very quickly. So you can tell that he has a wrestling background in that aspect. All right, so now he actually stood up to pass, which is good. He is improving. He noticed that just staying stagnant wasn't really working for him. I like to see when white belt's minds start to process things like that. However, his posture is still very low and broken down. As you see, he's leaning forward into me. That's why I have both feet on the hips. I'm trying to see if I can push him to make him drive even more intensely into me. That way I can flip him over my head. But he is kind of noticing that I'm setting him up for something, so he instead leaned back, which is the right move for him. So now I really just want to try to get a sweep, so I set up a reliable scissor sweep, <laughs> which ends up working. It's a good way to off-balance someone when they're really leaning forward into you. Otherwise, I wouldn't advise going for it because it just doesn't have enough momentum if someone is leaning back very postured up. Now I am just securing my position with knee on belly. I always use this as a way just to take mount as I do right there. And during this roll, I experience that he's a lot stronger than I am. So automatically I go right into a grapevine in the mount. This allows me a little bit of time just to get my head together and figure out what I actually want to do from the mount position. 
So as you see, I just grabbed my right lapel and I'm trying to throw it over his head. Honestly, I usually just use my lapels strictly for the purpose that they go ahead and reach and grab it. That way I can go for an arm bar. However, if I get my lapel over their side of the head, perfectly fine. I'll, I'll take the choke all day long, which ended up happening here. I get off mount and I circle to the other side and that allows me to get the submission with the lapel choke. Sometimes if the lapel isn't tight enough across the neck when I circle, I can't finish it. So if you noticed, I put my far side knee on his neck just to apply a little bit more pressure and get the submission. So he starts off very aggressive, grabs both ankles and throws them above my head, which is a very good tactic here, especially for my open guard. So he has double unders. However, I was able to underhook one of his arms, which allows me to pull it through and go for a triangle. But as soon as I threw my legs for the triangle, he postured up very well, so I had to revert to a straight arm bar because he was getting out of my triangle, which usually leaves the opponent's arm a little bit more extended because they're trying to slip out of that triangle. Once again, it looks like he's analyzing a different approach to my guard. Uh, as you see, he's kind of staying a little bit back this time, which again is great. He's learning what is working for him and what isn't working for him during this role. So he gets put back into my closed guard, and as you see, his posture goes down. Typically, white belts, you're not supposed to do this. You're supposed to have good posture, you know, look up to the sky, all that. But since I'm smaller and I don't have a lot of strength in manipulating people's body weight, doing this actually always makes it harder for me, even though this technically isn't really what you're supposed to be doing. But it makes their weight like a rock and refrains me from getting any sort of sweep that I want to go for. So that's why I start attacking the arms, that way he feels the need to posture up so I can actually either throw a triangle, which what I'm going for here, or attack a sweep. Unfortunately, the timer went off, so that's it for this roll. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to tap that like and subscribe button so I can make more videos just like this. I hope everyone enjoyed this roll. It was a really fun one, especially because this was the first time rolling with this individual. He did an amazing job. Hopefully, we get another rematch maybe in a few months after he's trained for a little bit. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and... I'll see you on the mats next week. Bye, everybody.